I'm Mike. I'm Phoenix. I'm Rob. Brad. Chizzy Chaz. Joseph Hahn. We're in Lincoln Park, and right now we're in the back of the tour bus. We're in Europe. We just played a show in uh, Hamburg, Germany, and we are traveling from Hamburg to Paris, France. Coming up in the next hour, we are going to show you a collection of some of our favorite videos, and in addition, be uh, shooting from some different places throughout Europe, such as Paris, France, and in addition, many different locations in England. We're also going to talk about our new album, Meteora, which comes out March 25th. Um, we're going to show you some clips, and we're going to talk about some of our upcoming tours, uh, Project Revolution 2003, and the Metallica Summer Sanitarium Tour. Enjoy the show. Gorgeous. Nice and rainy, nice and wet. This is Joe. I'm Mike. I'm Phoenix from Lincoln Park, and we are here in Paris, France. Uh, behind us you will see the Arc de Triomphe, and behind that you will see the Champs-Élysées. We're here in France on our LPU club tour. It's basically a tour where we let all of our uh, LP Underground fan club members in for free. up until the 25th of March, on which day the uh, new album Meteora gets released, which we're really excited about because we've been working on the new songs for 18 months, so it's great to play them live. Coming up is one of our favorite European videos. It is Come to Daddy by Aphex Twin. We hope you enjoy it. It's an unusual game we're playing here. It's embarrassing. I don't, I don't think I usually beat Brad at games like this, but today is my day. Everyone's got to get lucky now and again. A lot nicer than at the home malls. Uh, we're standing over with the luggage. Right over there. I'm, uh, I'm supervising. All that matters is that both my bags are here so we can go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hope you guys have been enjoying the show so far. Um, in a minute, after the break, we'll be back with some more videos and some more footage of the LP Underground Tour. Booyah! All right. <laughs> what's up? I'm Brad. And I'm Joe from Lincoln Park. And right now, we are standing in front of the Sacre Coeur in Paris, France. We hope you've been enjoying the videos you've been seeing. Um, we're about to get out and get on stage for the third show in our LP Underground tour in Europe. When we get back to the States, we're going to play some more LPU shows, and then we're going to begin Project Revolution 2003. Coming up next is a video by one of our favorite rappers from a guy that's actually going to be on our tour exhibit. Here's Symphony in X Major, directed by some guy named Mr. Hahn. That was The Executioners with It's Going Down, featuring myself and Joe Hahn. Uh, we're on the way right now. We're in the bus going from Paris to London, getting ready to do a show this evening. As you can see, we're living it up like the rock stars we are with some travel scrabble. I'm getting my ass whooped. I'm not afraid to say it. Uh, after the break, uh, hopefully I will have turned the game around and we'll also have some more videos, so stick around.
Chazzy Chaz in the uh, always uplifting and gray and rainy United Kingdom. And uh, we're getting ready to go back to the United States where it's probably equally as cold in New York, but it's all good. Anyways, looking forward to the Summer Sanitarium Tour coming up this summer with Metallica, Limp Bizkit, The Deftones, and Mudvayne, and Lincoln Park, of course. And uh, speaking of The Deftones, check out the next video. It's my own summer. I'm Brad. And I'm Phoenix. And we are one third of Lincoln Park, standing in front of the River Thames on a beautiful rainy day in London, England. We just checked out Flatbeat by Mr. Oizo. And uh, Phoenix, why don't you tell him what else is coming up? After the break, we're going to be showing you our latest video for Somewhere I Belong. But before that, enjoy some clips from LPTV. After we came home from tour, that's when the album pre-production began. Everyone writes on the record. Not everyone writes the same amount on each song, you know, depending on maybe who comes up with the original idea. When we write songs, we're not really a jam band. We won't sit there together and just like jam on our instruments and, and say, hey, that sounded cool, play it again, and we'll try and like all write stuff together. I think we would kill each other if we tried to do that. Somebody will start a song, come up with like a guitar riff, and then it can get passed on to the next person where they can take it and put it on their computer and sit there and write something to it and take the time. It takes, you know, some stuff comes really fast and sometimes it takes like, you know, a few hours to come up with something good or maybe sometimes even a few days. So the rest of the band doesn't have to sit there while you kind of go through all your ideas. Mike's always involved in all the songs because he's kind of like the glue in that he knows how to use the Pro Tools rig and he's really good at working with people one on one in terms of putting their parts down. Just drag it out! Remember. I think hybrid theory is really good. I'm really proud of it. Sometimes I even listen to it and I go, man, how did we do that, you know? And the way that you do it is you invest a lot of time and energy into these songs. I mean, even on this album, we've already spent hundreds of hours. You know, I've spent, we spent weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks working on, you know, the same song or seven or eight songs and then thrown out six or seven of them. For me, as a producer, working with artists like Linkin Park that really want their music to be as good as it can be, we'll rip a song to shreds and then build it back up and then rip it down again if that's what it takes. For me, I really put most of my work in before actually going to the studio. I was spending eight to ten hours a day practicing, almost seven days a week. I had dreams about drums. I, I had dreams about drum fills that like I practiced the day before and I couldn't get right. It was just constant like drum craziness. Rob works so hard from hybrid theory to where he is now he is two completely different people. The preparation he put into this record was unbelievable and it shows. Every take you do in the studio needs to be a thousand percent the way you would want it to be listened to over and over again on the album. The studio is little spurts of playing drums, really. And it's a lot more thinking about what you're going to do and, and trying to be creative and writing different films and all that. Whereas a show, you already know everything you're going to play and you're just going all out. It's like a sprint. All right, all right. You got it, you got it. is a song that I really have been trying to write. I've wanted to write it for quite a while, uh, probably like five years or six years. It was a song called Breaking the Habit. Don was listening to the keyboard strings that I had written, and he said, you know, what would sound really great is if we could do those strings live. the stuff that I had written, a guy named David Campbell took all that and wrote it out from cello on the low end to, to the violins and violas. He played it once through just exactly the way I'd written it, and then David told us that he had written a couple of variations on it. We mixed them all together and actually overlaid them so the 10 people now sound like 40 people.
you haven't already figured it out, we're currently in Brixton, in London. Uh, we're in our dressing room, sitting on a couch. <laughs> singing in the rain. Today we're standing here on the corner of 47th and Broadway in New York City. We just got back from London and we're real happy to be back in the U.S. Thanks for sticking around. Coming up we have our last video of the day. It's somewhere I belong, so enjoy.